Justine Spiller told me in the uh, in the Wog Bar in Khan University in 1968. He announced to me, the CRS are in the town. I paused. The CRS? I said, well, my mother worked for the CRS. Your mother worked for the CRS? The riot police? Oh, no, I said, not the riot police. Her mother worked for the Corp, the Cooperative Retail Society in Halifax. No, 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 no. I am talking about the Compagnie de Sécurité Républicaine, which indeed are the right police who slink around the streets of France, kind of closed up vans, and when there's a, a street riot, which there are, there's a lot of street protests in France, they pour out and uh, give everybody a good thumping and then are seen no more as they retire to their barracks for a few more months of calm. But in this particular time, this fraught time, in May 68, there was a national strike called. There was, in the university towns I discovered, a curfew imposed. And political tension was rising. And at that moment, I decided to go and join a manifestation on the day of the, uh, the general strike. A manifestation, a demonstration, a demo, a manif. It started uh, near the ramparts of the old Norman castle, built by Guillaume le Batard, or William the Conqueror. And... Uh, there was a big crowd, it was a kind of very carnival atmosphere early that morning, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, the time of the demonstration. There were uh, lab assistants, white coats, teachers, workers, uh, kind of trade union officials, who in those days always seemed to sport leather jackets in France for some reason. And uh, the workers had the bleu de travail, the, the blue overalls. Quite a mixed bunch, and students. Strictly speaking, I shouldn't be shouldn't have been there. Because I wasn't aware that uh, foreign students really couldn't join in political demonstrations in France. Anyway, off we went, marching down the streets of uh, Caen, uh, singing and shouting, "Les bourgeois dans la rue, de Gaulle au poteau." To go to the stake. I don't know what the poor old fellow had done. Dix ans, ça suffit. Ten years, that's enough. And of course, the popular one, CRSSS. So we all go marching down to the uh, to the main square uh, of Caen, to the Monument aux Morts, the uh, the war memorial, which is where. I suppose we were going to have various speeches and a call to arms, whatever. On the way there, we passed the office of the the sous-prefet, the local government official, who would kind of harangued us from a balcony like a little Mussolini. And when we got to the uh, monument or more, when we got to the main square of Caen, in front of the monument was a two or three rows of the CRS, uh, all kitted up with the usual perspex shields and the the, uh, the gas bottles around the waist, this, uh, the CS gas, the vomit gas which they throw at you, and, and of course the machine guns and great big masks that make them look like flies, you know, griddle mask over the eyes, and uh, no kind of boiler suits really and big boots and as we all marched in and we marched towards the CS I noticed that CRS I noticed that our steps were getting a bit shorter so as we were about three or four yards off them it was more or less uh, walking marching on the spot as we faced the uh, the traditional enemy 
of street protests, the riot police. And I looked at them, and I thought, well, 12 or 14 feet away, I thought it was quite a safe distance, I thought, all that clobber on, they're not going to move very quickly. And then suddenly, uh, the chief man, the sergeant or whatever, shouted out, Avance! And they started running towards, well, I thought they were running towards me, you know, as an individual. I thought they were running towards the, the general uh, group of demonstrators. And uh, we brought ranks, well, I brought ranks, you know, and, and fled, you know, chasing down the streets of Khan. Uh, I've never been as fast in all my life, actually, and I was quite fit then. I'm talking about four or five stone ago. And uh, I dived down a side street to a, a pub I used to go frequent, uh, La Petite Malherbe, and my heart was nearly outside of my chest, you know, beating that fast. I dived in and I, I said to the proprietor, you knew me, I, 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 I said, Ver de Van, I said, yeah, I, I said, the CRS uh, following you, I said, you've got it in one. He said, well, you've been here a couple of hours, I said, that'll do for me. And uh, anyway, the uh, it all passed by, the, the clattering feet went down the street. I was safe in, uh, in La Petite Malheur rather incongruously actually after my wine I had a bottle of Guinness which had kept in stock for me. So that was a very vivid impression of uh, a French manifestation during the momentous days of May 68. Bliss in that dawn it was to be alive but to be young it was very heaven. I paraphrase William Wordsworth I think not Fred Wordsworth, who was my next door, next door neighbour for many years. Thank you.